Um, I am going to do something for the first time. Never done it before. I'm going to do an unboxing. Um, but before I get to that, just want to um, say if you are a return viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Um, I do appreciate all the interaction and the people that I'm meeting uh, on YouTube and online and other platforms um, in which I've, you know, made connections with other crafters and like-minded people. Uh, if you are a new viewer, uh, please consider liking the video, subscribing, and tapping the little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. Um, update on my works in progress. Over the weekend, I basically had like a little round robin where I pulled out all of my whips and I set the timer and I set it for like 20 minutes and I worked on like every project. Um, it wasn't straight like I did 20 minutes of a project and then I spent 20 minutes folding laundry and then 20 minutes of another you know so I switched it up it wasn't straight craft 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 um, because too much of a good thing is, is still too much but um, and, and it was a little bit manic like in a sense that some of the projects I haven't touched in a little while and I had to think about it and like read the instructions you know and kind of like think about where am I, what am I doing? But at the end, I certainly felt very productive that I had done a little bit of work um, on all of my works in progress. Um, additionally, um, I do have some finished objects to show, but they're in the other room. So hang on a second, I'll be right back. Right, so um, I have been working on hats to donate to the Hat Not Hate campaign that Lion Brand is running um, and they are trying to reach a goal of having 25,000 hats to distribute to um, schools in, in the United States. I'm not sure exactly where. I don't know if it's just the New York area or maybe the uh, Tri-State District, New York, New Jersey, um, Pennsylvania. I, I don't know. I'd have to look that up. But you can look it up yourself if you go to um, hatnothate.com, I believe. Um, but if you just plug it into Google, you'll find it. So the again, the premise is to uh, make these hats and then distribute them to the schools so that it raises um, anti-bullying um, awareness, of, you know, and helps to try and fight that particular awful, awful thing. I know probably everybody has been bullied at some point in time in their lives. Um, I know I have. Um, and additionally, this is something that's not talked about a lot, but bullying also affects the bully. So it's just badness for everyone concerned and involved. So I definitely felt compelled uh, to participate in the campaign and I encourage you to do so as well. It's just a hat, all you gotta do is make a hat. The only um, rule is that the hat has to be blue. They want uh, to use the color blue to um, signify anti-bullying and support their campaign. That's really much it. You can use whatever pattern you want, you can knit it, you can crochet it. They do have little tags, uh, little wooden tags, you know, hat not hate. You can buy them from Lion Brand and then stitch them onto your hat before you send them in, but you don't even have to do that. And then if you're having a hard time figuring out a pattern, they have like six free different patterns that you can look at and decide what you want to do. Different weights of yarn, crochet, and knitting. Like this is super easy, especially for you really fast knitters and crocheters. You should be able to bang out one of these hats in like an hour. Um, I have done two so far and my goal, well, I will complete it because I'm on the third hat. I have three girls. So I figured I might as well contribute um, as many hats as I have children. That seemed appropriate and fair. So the first one I did was this dark blue one. Um, oh, and by the way, I am using the same pattern for all three hats. It's the pattern that I had used before um, uh, last year when I did uh, some charity knitting. Uh, it's called the Ramble On Beanie by Tracy Gretchen. 
I love the pattern. I love it, love it, love it. I love the way it looks. I love the texture and it's super easy. And like you, when you do it in different weights of yarn with a couple different needle sizes, that also changes the way that it looks. So I think it's an incredibly wonderful and easy pattern. So if again, there's another pattern. If you don't, if you're not good at picking out patterns, there you go. So you got like seven you can choose from. So here's the navy one, dark navy one. Um, they do want different sizes because, you know, they're giving them out to smaller kids and then like high schoolers, which, you know, some of them have adult size heads. So, so here's the navy one. And this was done in Siddhar Haycroft, I think. So this is like a chunky yarn. So this was one strand of this chunky yarn. I like this yarn. Um, so that was that one. Then I did this one. So it's also blue, but it's a lighter color. Same pattern. See how I love it. It uses a stitch called, um, well, it's not a special name, but you're knitting in the uh, knit stitch one round below. So it makes like an elongated knit. And then she's got the pattern where like it offsets a little bit, the knit and the purl. So I think that's really interesting. This was done in Red Heart Super Saver. I have no idea what the color is because there was no ball band on it. I just grabbed this stuff out of my stash. Uh, you know, again, if you have it, why not use it and give it to a good purpose? Uh, this, I used only one strand of the yarn. Um, so this is like a little bit bigger because I do think I did the next size up but it's also like light and a little bit airy because I only did one size, uh, I mean one strand of, of the yarn. So that's hat number two. Hat number three, I have right here, I'm working on it. This two is um, Red Heart Super Saver. I am using a slightly larger set of needles than the pattern calls for, and I'm holding two strands together. So this is gonna be, um, pretty bulky um, and since it's too I don't know if you can tell because I'm I'll, yeah you can the color they're two separate colors so this is again there was no ball band so I don't know what the color way is called um, and knowing how long I've had some of the things in my stash they may not make this color anymore uh, but this is a light blue and then this is an even lighter blue so it's got like a little bit of a marbled effect, which I don't think you can see very well on the light. And I have no idea why my camera blows out on the edge. I still haven't figured that out. Anyway, so this is hat number three. And this is the ribbing done. I just have to do um, the rest of the hat, the hat, the head part of the hat. Like this thing whips up super fast. So I'll be done. I'll have contributed three hats, one for each kid, and um, I hope that they make their goal. I know um, the deadline is August 1st for you to send in your hats. It's May 22nd. I think they only have like 1,500 to 2,000 hats. The last time I checked, I could be wrong. They could have gotten like a massive influx, but Last time I checked, it was like 15 to 1,500 to 2,000. So they have a little bit of a ways to go. But they made a very excellent point that of all the people on Instagram who are currently following their hashtag of, of hat underscore not underscore heat, if everybody made like 13 hats, they would reach their goal. So... You're not going to make 13 hats per se, but how about we get more knitters and crocheters involved and, you know, make one or two. Um, anyway, I'll get off my soapbox. Uh, that's my finished objects that I uh, actually have to show. I'll put them over there. Well, I guess it's a fin two finished objects and a hoe, right? Half object. Um, and also, uh, last episode... We discussed in length uh, the project that must not be named. I am more than 50% of the way done with the main body of that. So that is 
chugging along and I'm super happy and I probably it's probably about time to take a progress picture so if you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook um, maybe this afternoon or tomorrow I'll end up put another progress picture so go over there and check it out but uh, that is the perfect segue into the unboxing that I'm going to do for this episode the project that must not be named I am going to do a unboxing of the Harry Potter items that I just picked up from Aldi. So, um, I know they have Aldi's in the United States. Probably not as many as they do here um, in Europe and the UK. So I don't know if these pro uh, products are available or if it was, you know, in the news there, but it was definitely in the news here. I saw like two weeks ago came up on my um, Google news feed that Aldi was putting out a line of Harry Potter products that included crochet kits and fat quarters or fabric pieces. So um, they just came out on Sunday. I was considering running down and being like, you know, getting there as the store opens, but I thought, oh, you know, I'm not going to be that. I won't want to say crazy because if you really love Harry Potter, I can understand because sometimes stuff at Aldi goes like that and it gets very messy very quick um, case in point I waited till Monday to go down and I got there and there were only like a few of the crochet kits um, for the figurines um, out and there were boxes that were still like taped up because people had come and bought it all and then the employees hadn't unboxed you know what was uh, the, the new boxes so you know I grabbed an employee and I was like can you cut this box open <laughs> um, so the line of products includes um, kits to knit uh, hats and scarves for all of the houses so you can get all the house colors um, I think both of those uh, are knit kits I didn't purchase any of them because I am fortunate enough to have a uh, an entire Harry Potter um, knitting book. So I have already have patterns for um, house scarves and hats and socks and, and Quidditch jumpers and all the other kind of stuff. So I didn't get any of those kits. What I did get were the two Amigurumi kits that were available. So the one is, of course, Harry himself. Got a little Harry Potter figure. So he's got his little wand, he's even got like the little scar on his head and, and the glasses and everything like that. So this is the one kit. The other kit that's available is Hedwig, uh, the owl. And it has um, a little envelope, you know, a little letter. So I thought these were really cute. They also had some felting kits that had like, uh, Ron and Harry and Hermione and, um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank on his name, Hagrid. Um, and I think they made, I had another one as well, but they were already like, you know, die cut pieces of felt that you would sew together and, and put some, uh, stuffing in. I don't really sew, um, eh, didn't, didn't tickle my fancy. But then they also had the fat quarters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up uh, the fat quarters. I actually think I got, I think I got one of all that they had. I'm not sure. Um, Cause I did stop myself a little bit. Cause you know, I just said I don't really sew. So, so what am I gonna do with all these things? I don't know, but I thought the price was a good price. Um, they were five pounds for each of the fat quarters. So it says fat quarters, five pack, um, it's 100% cotton, 45 by 56 centimeters. I don't know what that is. I don't think in centimeters, I think in inches. Um, yeah, I don't know. But it, it equates to like $7 US. So to have an entire one, two, three. Oh, well, you know what it is? It's five different, okay, let's just open it. Let's just open it, right? Let's just do it. 
Okay, so they come tied up, a little ribbon. Cute, cute, cute. Undo the ribbon. Boom. Tag. Okay, so what it is, there are, I was thinking it was two because it was folded over, but it's not. So there's five individual little pieces of fabric in each um, pack. So here, I'll just open this one up here. This one's cute. This is uh, the castle, Hogwarts, on a background of stars. Um, I'm going to say this is 12, 16 by... I don't know, 16 by 18 inches. I don't know. Y'all have to check my math because you know me. I don't do math. So here's that one. That's cute. But you definitely could use this for, I was thinking like a lining inside something or maybe making like little small coin purses or something like that. Here is next one. It is yellow stripes and it says platform nine and three quarters. So that one's cute. I think they're all cute. I mean, obviously I wouldn't have purchased these things if I didn't think they were cute. I've read all the Harry Potter novels. I've seen all the movies. Love it. Uh, this one, this one's cute. So this has got, it's got the trio on it and it's also got he who must not be named. And then there's a uh, Hedwig. There's one of them little fairies. I forget. I know they're not called fairies. I forget what they're called. Um, potion bottle. There's the little, the monster book, <laughs> the thief. Yeah, that one's cute. This one's pretty subtle. So like, if you're a Harry Potter fan, but you didn't want to like hang it all out there, this one's pretty subtle. It says mischief managed on it. Am I holding it? I'm not holding it the right way. Yeah, well, you probably can't read it anyway. Mischief managed. And it's got, you know, his glasses, a broom, a hat. There's a little, there's Hedwig. There's lightning bolt, a crest. There's a golden snitch. Like I can see all the little appropriate pieces. There's actually, I think, oh yeah, there's Griff, There's a, the Gryffindor lion. I don't know if that's a, supposed to be a wizard. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh, there's a scarf. Yeah. Anyway, so pretty much anything that you can think of that relates to Harry Potter are tiny little symbols on this one. And then it says mischief managed. So that would be nice to be subtle. Um, this one here. Sorry, I hope I'm not boring you. Like, yeah, if you're not a Harry Potter fan, this is probably not going to be the episode for you. <laughs> and this one's got Harry flying on the thing on his broom. It says Quidditch. It's got Hedwig and the Golden Snitch. So that one's cute. Next, I may not undo all of these because I've got to fold these all back up. <laughs> but this one, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I'm going to have to undo all these. Yeah, so this is the pack that has all the houses in it. This one uh, has like bunting flags. So it says, you know, Gryffindor and all the houses on there. Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. So there's that. This is actually a Ravenclaw one. Yep. Trying to keep this one neater. This one... Hmm, that one's, in this one's interesting. So these are a little more subtle. So like this is Gryffindor. I mean, there's the lion, but like it's inside a badge, little circle and stars. That one's the subtle one. Um, this is another Ravenclaw one. Again, that similar pattern with the stars inside the circle has their symbol and their initial. That one's nice. And then there's a bigger Gryffindor one with the line on it on that one. Okay. Next. <laughs> yeah. I think there's going to be some Harry Potter stuff going on at Christmas time this year. <laughs> Again. 
Uh, so we got another little Harry. He's, again, I like these little, these are like the Punko or Funko. Is it Punko or Funko? Pop. No, Pop is the company. And they're like Funko the, with the big fat little heads. I like that, the way that looks. So again, this upside down Harry Potter. He's got his wand, golden snitch, glasses, headwig, etc., etc. Fold him back up. Let's see. Oh, there's another mischief managed one, and this one's like pinky. That the last one was red, and this one's pink. Which is my shirt. So that's cool. Oh, look at this one. Wee! I didn't see this one because it's on the inside. It's got all the magical creatures on it. Look at that. And they are, they're the similar like Funko pop brand type drawing. So it's got a little dragon coming out of the egg and it's got the unicorn and the hippogriff and those fairy thingies. I think maybe they are fairies. I have to look that up. Pixies. Um, there's spider, the tarantula, and what is, what is that? I don't even know which way that's supposed to go. What is that? Oh, it's the phoenix. That one was a little difficult to tell what that was. Yeah. At least for me. I mean, and you know what I just realized? I don't even got my glasses on. Right there. So that one's supposed to be the phoenix. Okay, next, oh, super simple, super subtle, Harry and his glasses. It's not even Harry, just the glasses and the lightning bolt. And then, again, another little, uh, just the characters of the trio and he who must not be. Okay, last one. Oh, this is why I picked this up. Okay. Because the one pack had the Ravenclaw and the Gryffindor um, fabric in it, plus a general all house one. This one too has a general house one with the crest. I like that. Magic Sheep Creations just did a C2C, she's doing a C2C blanket. And this, she just did something very similar to that. You have to go over on Instagram and check it out. So there's that. And then here's the Slytherin one with the badge, um, the Slytherin and the snake and the star. And here's a Hufflepuff one. Here's actually Hufflepuff with the badger. And then here's their, that one with the star and the badge. And then straight up Slytherin. So that's why I did that. So I got, um, I think I got two of every house and then two of the houses all together and then several obviously um, character pieces Harry and then no Hagrid though he should have been on the magical creatures one what's up with that where's the magical creatures one what I do with that Oh, here it is. Yeah, no Hagrid. What? No Hagrid. Hmm. Now, I do think there might have been a couple other packs there. So I may have missed out on Hagrid by trying to concentrate on making sure I got a little bit of every house. Um, because we do have different houses in our house. Um, our youngest has yet to be sorted by the hat. But so far we have, I'm not going to say who's who, we have two Gryffindors, we have a Slytherin, and we have a Ravenclaw in our family. So we will see uh, what the youngest turns out to be. Yeah, I'm talking about this like this is all like, you know, real and uh, important because it is. <laughs> okay, let's get to the kits. So um, these were four pounds, the kit. Uh, so that is uh, yeah, I don't even know what that converts to in dollars. 
I don't know how I figured out. I, I could be completely giving you the wrong dollar amount, and it may not even matter if you can't have access to this in the seats. So I'm very sorry about that if that's true. Um, in this kit, it contains the yarn that you need. It contains the crochet hook. It contains the stuffing. Um, it contains a darning needle and the instructions. And it says when it's finished, it's approximately six inches. Headway. So let's open it up. It's a little piece of tape here, holding it shut. This is the one that I made the guy open up the box for, because there was still like one or two Harry Potters left, but there was no Hedwigs. And I had seen, again, Magic Sheep Creations uh, on Instagram. I'm sorry, I don't actually know your first name. I should know your first name because I met you. Um, at the um, Wool Festival in Skipton. Uh, but anyway, she had gone down to uh, Aldi on Sunday straight away. So I knew there was a Hedwig one. So I was like, yeah, let me see. Open it up for me, Mr. Aldi. Uh, okay, so here's the inside of the box. Obviously, this is the yarn for Hedwig. Pull it out. Little ball. I'm assuming this is acrylic. Um, DK weight. I'm I'm gonna guess. I'm not good at that. It's it's definitely thinner than worsted, but not much thinner. So I'm gonna go with DK weight as to the weight of the yarn. Another another ball. Um. Here's black and gold to accent um, Hedwig's eyes and feathers and feet. Oh, a little bit of brownish red for the seal on the letter. We have instructions. I got two. Oh, bonus. Double instructions. Wait, let me see. Okay, English. I'm seeing English. I'm seeing English. Let's see. Nope, that's in English too. So I got two sets of instructions in this box. Bonus. Stuffing. Yep, that'll do. Okay, now to this part. Right. <laughs> um tiny little plastic crochet hook and plastic darning needle probably not going to use these um yeah not going to use this uh really flimsy probably could break very easily uh the darning needle's okay i mean like you don't usually put a lot of force on the darning needle and you don't hold it for as long as you would hold a crochet hook. So there's probably less likely chance that you would um, break it. Um, and I don't have an abundance of darning needles, so I'll probably keep this one. And I don't know about this crochet hook. And then, ooh, I don't have my glasses on at all. I think it says it's a three millimeter. Which would make sense if it's DK weight, three millimeter. When you do amigurumi crochet, you want the hook to be at least one, if not two sizes smaller than what the yarn would call for, because that's how you get the really tight stitches and, and, and the amigurumi look. So that's, that's me, you know. Still, I feel like I paid four pounds really just for the pattern which you know I would pay four pounds for a pattern not a big deal like you know I'm sure plenty of you have paid four pounds if not more for a pattern as well so I feel like that was worth it just for that um, but you know then there's the yarn it's ready to go and then if you like it you have the pattern so you can repeat it you know and do that again Okay, let's open Harry. I assume it's going to be very similar what's on the inside with Harry. 
tape. Oh, this one don't want to come off. Okay, here we go. Let me tuck that tape in. Okay, so yeah, same setup. There's the yarn. So we have brown for his hair. We have beige for his face. Um, this would be the reddish color for the scarf. Uh, black for his, um, I was going to say dress gown. That's not right. His robe. And then some gray and some gold. The gray on the back of the box here. Let me see. So the gray is like the top of the robe. They have like a little cowl, I guess, that holds the robe closed, or or that is you know shapes the body, so holds it closed. So that's what that's for. And then obviously the gold is for the scarf. And then we got tiny little string for the lightning bolt on his head. So I am wondering now um, if I'm gonna have enough yarn. I guess if you're a, not a tight crocheter, a loose crocheter, which you really can't be a loose crocheter and do amigurumi, but um, yeah, they, they, are, they didn't give me a ball of every color. Looks like they gave me just what I would need to complete the project. So it does make you kind of wonder, like, are you going to have enough? Well, obviously I only got to sew on the lightning bolt, so that'll work. But like the scarf, right? Um, that, so, I, yeah, so I'll have to make one and, uh, let you know. Or maybe somebody else has to make one and let you know because, you know, I always have a lot of things in the queue. Um, but here's the stuffing again. Same, same needle and darning, same crochet hook and darning needle. And, oh, yep, only one Harry Potter pattern. So obviously the head wig, that was a, an accident and extra, but I have an extra pattern. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's exciting um, and cute. I don't know when I'll be starting these because I have multiple birthday gift items that need to come in the queue first. But I was happy that I went down and got these. I'm, yeah, I'm happy with my purchases. I'm okay with waiting, you know, putting something aside and knowing that it's there and getting to it when the time is appropriate. I still have, I actually have um, an Amigurumi kit, a Star Wars one, uh, Yoda, that my aunt had given me. Um, so that's, that. I have that in the queue as well of, of things to do. So... There you go. My first unboxing video um, of Harry Potter items from Aldi. I certainly hope that you enjoyed watching this. I enjoyed looking at all these things. This is actually the first time. Like, I went down to the store um, uh, and I just went and purchased the fabric. I grabbed the kits and then I came home and I haven't, I haven't looked at it. These literally unboxing as as you're um, watching it. So, um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking, giving a thumbs up, subscribing, tapping the little bell. And until I see you again next time, I hope that you get some good crafting in, whether it's knitting, crocheting, sewing, whatever it is. I hope that you stay healthy and well, and I hope that you go out there and you make some magical memories of your own. See you next time. Bye.